Hey everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, I'm going to do some shopping and I'm gonna take you with me. I will check some luxury brands, also some mid-range brands like Massimo Dutti and, um, and other stories, and then some vintage shops, so a lot of shopping. I'm also going to try some things on and uh, show you what I bought. And then I'm sure that you're looking forward to spring. I can't wait for warmer weather so I can kind of like, you know, get rid of these heavy clothing like uh, jumpers and, and jackets so I definitely can't wait for spring to come so we'll check uh, what they have for the new season spring summer and also kind of go through some spring summer trends and just in general you know like what's new in fashion so I'm sure we will have some fun and um, I think let's go and do some shopping So now I'm in Chelsea um, on Kings Road. So behind me is Kings Road. It's one of my uh, favorite um, places to do some shopping. Obviously you can do it on Oxford Street where you can find Zara, H&M, Mango, all those shops. But if you want to have something different, more local designers or um, independent brands or a little bit uh, just more unique clothing shops then this is the place to be and this is also my favorite area you can have a lot of different coffee shops and just in general it has really cool vibe it also has such a gallery here which is one of my favorite ones in London so I love it and I'm super happy to be here today and started from here so it's gonna be fun day and um, yeah let's go and do some shopping early now that's why it's so empty uh, but I'm gonna grab coffee and uh, wait for the shops to be open this place uh, it's like a store with a coffee shop at the same place yeah I really like the, uh, the whole vibe in here and I'm um, going to have a quick coffee break now shop is going to be Peter John's which is behind me there uh, most of the brands are local and um, I think all of them are pretty classic wearable very easy to mix and match uh, simple so not too crazy but I'm sure I'm gonna find something a little bit more interesting unique and um, hopefully something more colorful because spring I think is um, great with for colors and wearing them so so yeah let's go and have a look what they have there So what's gonna be super popular is denim on denim or total denim look. All these type of like, you know, uh, denim dresses um, and sets, that's gonna be super, super popular. So this one is also um, kind of one of the popular um, with pockets and um, something like a fisherman <laughs> jacket. Um, but yeah, so this one is um, spotted a lot on the runway. This is a good brand for uh, like basics, I guess, and uh, just classic, nice silhouettes. But I am very tired of the camel coats now, so move on. 
color. Okay, here I'm wearing a beautiful green jumper and satin skirt. They're both from a brand called Hush. Then I also found a striped blouse and I liked it instead of a typical blue stripes. It has brick red color. The brand of the top is called and or and I paired it with a denim jacket which had a relaxed fit. I also tried this jacket. Um, this was on sale and obviously I loved the color and I think it looks good with this cream jumper dress so I think these two colors complement each other. Okay, here's another sale item, more for summer. It's a wrap dress, which I would say is the most flattering for any body shape. Okay, and then also like large slouchy bags like this. They're gonna be also really good, you know, for even larger than this this is too small if it's like huge oversized then it's the right bag and it you know it can be really slouchy very kind of like a relaxed fit and um yeah the shape i like this one but it's just a little bit too small otherwise i would definitely get something like that <laughs> Okay, so next up will be and another stories. I saw their colorful window display, particularly the blue skirt. So, you know, I had to try it. Okay, these jumpers are very good. They are pretty affordable and super soft and in four different colors. So I'm going to take this one and try on. I took the blue skirt and that jumper and I loved how it looked together. Similar like I showed you with that pink jacket, I love how the cream tones look good with these brighter colors. Okay, so you see that the jumper has relaxed fit. This one is in size medium, it has wide sleeves and a dropped shoulder. Okay, so you can see that the skirt has a side slit. Um, it's not too high, so it's really nice. Um, it's a pencil skirt below the knee. I also tried it with my coat for this outfit I would add long boots and some colorful bag like you know this orange one that is behind me um, I have a trench coat um, jeans and this colorful top the trench coat has a nice olive green color which is different than usual khaki green this color definitely looks more spring then I tried these flared jeans. I'm wearing size 38. I like these cute pockets that are on the front. And then the top had fun colors, very retro. I tried some, some items and uh, they have a lot of colorful uh, clothing there. I think uh, you can find interesting pieces for uh, spring, summer. Let's go to the next shop now. The next stop, I want to take you to All Saints. It's a local brand that started in East London. Now it's expanded worldwide. The brand has um, kind of like a modern rock and roll type of style and their must-have item is a leather jacket with like neat tailoring and detailing so I'm definitely going to try that. This skirt is so cool and um, this leather look is going to be very trendy as well and it's gonna come back this spring. I'm totally into a biker check look and with some you know big sunglasses maybe a cool gray t-shirt with the print and with this leather jacket red nail polish I mean that's a look I would wear any day. This is a size 38 and the girl in store said that these type of jackets supposed to be fitted and I actually like that they are not too big and oversized but still I would prefer to size up and have a little bit more loose leather jacket. I tried it also with this gorgeous floral dress which is actually from their new collection. Okay, so I am back in Chelsea, it's another day and today I'm going to check Ganny shop and an outlet shop and um, that's the agenda for today, so let's go and do some more shopping. 
Gani is a Danish luxury fashion label. The brand aims to design, you know, effortless staples, yet it's still playful, colorful, fun, like these cool t-shirts or balloon sleeve dresses, floral prints and cozy knits. I think any item from Gani can be like a wardrobe staple. And you know, I did buy something there, so I'm going to show you what I picked. Okay guys, so I'm gonna show you what I bought. From Gani, I got this amazing blazer and it has like a belt here and then it goes all the way there and then it has buttons here. So it's like simple blazer but with a unique touch. I think it's really cool. It gives you kind of like a waistline and that creates nice silhouette. The color is beautiful. It's like a light gray with stripes. So it's gonna look very refreshing in spring and then a blazer is must have for me in London um, it's an item you can pair with everything you can wear it casual you can wear it to the office so I'm gonna wear it a lot for different occasions and it's definitely a must-have in my wardrobe so I'm super happy and I also um, got this one on sale so I was lucky to jump into that last sale bit and um, um, invest in a good blazer especially on a good deal so win-win okay another thing i got in gani is this baseball cap it says gani here and um, you know in general i don't wear baseball caps i think i never had one so i don't know i feel like maybe it doesn't suit me as much but i thought i'm gonna give it a go and see maybe i will wear it um quite a lot honestly i got it because it's pink no wonder i thought it's gonna be cute in the summer in spring so i'll give it a go but um overall i think yeah it's kind of cute okay so i also fall in love with a t-shirt which was in this pastel green color it was so nice the fit was good and it's kind of just a t-shirt but at the same time the color i think it made it so nice and it looked so so good at the end i didn't buy it and now i regret it but my plan is to wait a little bit and see if i will still think about this t-shirt after some time and if i will i'm gonna get it but if i will kind of like move on then i'll just leave it so we'll see i also tried a sweatshirt which had a butterfly print in kind of like a sparkly shiny print so it was uh, very cute and they also have t-shirts in um, also like a shiny butterfly print and it reminded me of time when I was in school and back then it was super popular to have those fitted t-shirts with rhinestones and they would have butterflies or things like that so it was really really trendy back then and now it's back in style Gani's new collection is called butterflies so it's very spring very inspiring and fun and, and if you like this type of aesthetic then you're definitely a Gani girl and I love it but the color of that green t-shirt sold me so um, if I would pick I probably would go with the green uh, green t-shirt so, so yeah okay next is a luxury secondhand shop I was really looking forward to check this shop and try some things on they're offering authenticated secondhand items from fashion houses including Chanel Gucci Balenciaga Dior and more and they offer clothing bags accessories and you know I was pleasantly surprised because all of them are in perfect condition so I tried two tops and a blazer this top is from Chloe with gorgeous ruffle detail. It has a see-through fabric, which again is one of the trends for spring summer. I think I would wear it with a blazer and a pair of jeans or uh, with the leather jacket from All Saints and again paired with jeans, some heels, red lips. That would be amazing look another top this one is fine knitted from saint laurent it's a bit see-through as well but again as an under layer would look really nice and unique overall i found a lot of stuff with my size in the shop so they have different variety of sizing except this jacquemus blazer which was 
unfortunately too small for me but I still wanted to try it on it has a little belt uh, just above the waistline uh, which is supposed to go across so yeah I was really happy to try it on and in general I uh, was pleasantly surprised that they have so many cool fashion brands with affordable prices for these you know big brands so you see this is the name of the shop and I will link their website in the description below they have an online shop so you can check it out okay and now this is the last shop that I checked on Kings Road I was wondering what's new in Massimo Dutti usually this brand is more about elegant timeless pieces However, they did have some colorful tops and then also this amazing leather trench coat. A lot of green color items like this blazer that I tried on with uh, a nice tank top for spring. Okay, Massimo Duty. I have just one thing and it's a pair of jeans. These ones are in dark blue color. Um, it looks almost black, but it's it's um, very very dark blue and um, it's straight leg I think it's like a slim leg and um, it has mid waist so it's not high waisted but it's also not too low and this is the reason why I got them so I really wanted to have a pair that doesn't have really high waist also not too skinny either so it's kind of like I'm like Goldilocks so I need to have it just right I picked the dark ones because I think even with dark ones in the summer it would look really nice with like a leather jacket and some sort of like a flowy top or with a check print blazer and a white shirt or a t-shirt and just some heels or uh, ballerinas ballerinas you know come back as well i think oh yeah celine had in their show ballerinas with kind of like a straight leg jeans anyway so these ones uh, fit really good these are cropped but obviously cropped jeans for me are like a normal <laughs> length and in general i find that massimo dt is good for those ladies who are taller i found a really really cool uh, trench coat it has uh, orange lining inside it looked really nice and it was very long so i think for tall girls it's gonna be super good fit other than that um, i didn't find many colors in their new collection but again it's good for those who want just a simple uh, neutral tones and have something very um, elegant uh, for spring summer i did want to show you something a little bit more colorful so i picked that green blazer i think the color was really nice and juicy and then i paired it with a top that was really nice it had lines um, on kind of like on the neckline and uh, with the blazer it looked really nice i think that tank top created uh, something like extra to the look and made it more sophisticated and then another top that I found was neon green that was like I guess the brightest color they had there it's a shirt it flows really well and the fabric was very nice and a very expensive looks really really good and expensive uh, quality but the color is a bit too much you know i felt like those life jackets so i don't know it's a just too much i guess if you style it uh, in a way to mute it down you can still wear it and maybe for spring summer I will be more kind of like into brighter colors and just now for me it feels like ooh a bit too much but yeah that was really nice uh, colorful top they did have some shirts with stripes which were really nice as well something a bit more colorful and again as i mentioned denim is kind of the thing for spring summer so i found this shirt which looks like denim but it's not and it's very very nice and soft so it can be paired with denim jeans however you're not wearing a denim on top so it's like light wear a shirt and you can tuck it into jeans but 
if you want to be super stylish then you can leave just one button and then leave the other buttons open and just kind of like create that type of a look and nothing underneath maybe with pairing with the jeans with low waist or a denim skirt with low waist so something like that that would be super trendy uh, but yeah that was a very nice find as well Okay, I'm near Piccadilly Circus and I'm going to Dover Street Market. It's kind of like a shopping center with all these luxury brands and I haven't been there before so I'm kind of like excited and I want to see what they have there. They do have also a sale. So, so yeah, quite excited and let's go. The space of this shop is very industrial, so it's a different luxury shop. The vibe is very cool and honestly, it feels more fashion to me than any other luxury shops in London. Maybe because it's more avant-garde fashion or maybe because most of these visitors in the shop were so stylish. It was great to see so many cool looking guys and girls. Their outfits were amazing, so I was like in a fashion show already. So I was inspired not only from the pieces in the shop, but also from the visitors. It has, I think, either five or six floors with a bakery on the top floor. Obviously, I had to try their coffee and the, a cake. And I love that they had some magazines around to read while you're, you know, sipping your coffee. So it was really nice atmosphere, very nice vibe. So I definitely enjoyed it. Okay, so it was really nice. There were a lot of things that I liked and I couldn't film on those floors where they had Prada, Balenciaga, um, Jacques Mousse, all these cool brands because they literally had security guard every five meter. So I was kind of like uncomfortable to film stuff. So um, I tried to film something, but um, couldn't film all of that, unfortunately, because they had amazing pieces there. So they had a lot of things on sale, like 60%. Uh, would be better 70 and 80 because it's still quite pricey uh, but yeah it's good to have some of these cool brands also on sale sometimes so that's great so at the end I didn't buy anything because I was looking for sunglasses or some sort of accessories that maybe they had on sale but actually they didn't have enough of these uh, accessories so uh, they were more focused on clothing some bags but that's about it. Yeah, I mean, overall, uh, really nice service. I really like everyone's super friendly, super nice. It's very, very lovely atmosphere there. I really like the shop and I definitely think that it's a cool place to go to have a look on the, uh, all these brands, all the new collections. Okay, so I have to go because I am standing here by the National Gallery and in this kind of little place here, it smells like pee, so I'm gonna go. Oh yeah, okay, so the last shopping experience was in vintage shops. So I wanted to check some vintage shops to take you with me. And there were two that uh, I found online to, to be kind of one of the best ones in London. So one is Beyond Retro and the other one called Attico. So this is the Beyond Retro shop. They have different locations in London. Uh, this one is in Soho. It has a lot of different um, vintage items, but they're more, in my opinion, they are more 80s style. A lot of colorful jumpers, colorful shirts, um, everything very bold, floral, with shoulder pads, <laughs> a lot of stuff like that. They did have some uh, denim jeans as well and some other bits and pieces, but overall it felt very 80s. 
Okay, I tried this blue satin top. I believe the brand is not very popular, so I don't know the name of it. But it was more about, you know, the style and the color and um, it was just a little bit different than you can see in other shops. I tried this amazing trench coat. I really love that. That was really cool and the price wasn't that expensive. I think it was around 25, 35 pounds. I also tried a corset and some of those colorful jumpers. So it was fun to give it a go and see what they have there. Okay, so a lot of 80s style, print, color, uh, flower print, a different kind of like uh, pattern and then um, a lot of crazy stuff, glitter, shoulder pads, we love shoulder pads and um, all that kind of like really funky cool things but then I also got one item so I'm going to show you what I got at the end so, so keep watching so I bought a top, it's this uh, royal blue, beautiful uh, satin-like uh, top with interesting neckline. I really like the neckline and also it has a floral print which you probably don't see it here but I'm going to show you later closer. It just looked really pretty, very nice and I love the color as well. I feel like this type of top I can wear it again to the office, I can wear it on a date night, I can pair it with jeans and uh, go to maybe a restaurant which is not super, you know, when you don't have to dress up too much but at the same time you want to put something nice on so this with a pair of jeans would look really nice so so yeah i like this one and um, that's something i took with me um, but the other one was in shortage um, next to brick lane The shop is massive. It has two floors. The downstairs basement floor was huge. Um, so many different options. Also, they have a lot of denim. So definitely worth checking that shop. They also have unique designs there for some items that would be upcycled. So I got this cropped uh, sweatshirt, which was upcycled and cropped and made with these holes with the chain. I loved it. It was amazing. And um, I would buy it if it wouldn't be so expensive. So the sweatshirt was 36 pounds and um, I understand that you pay for the for the design for the idea and uh, it's great but the quality of this where the hole is it was kind of like already breaking the cotton t-shirt um, t-shirt sweatshirt for 36 pounds I feel like I want a little bit better quality. I understand that this is just a cool design and um, it's hard to make these type of holes with uh, this soft fabric. But yeah, maybe if that would be 20 pounds, I would get it, but um, it feels like a little bit too much for one or two times when you could wear it because I don't know how you even wash it. If I would wash it in washing machine, that would be, that would be damaged. So you need to probably wash it with your hands. So, but the idea was amazing. I loved it and I found a lot of other stuff like that there. Um, very interesting and cool and unique. So there were two things that I was after in these vintage shops. One was um, a black mini dress, A-line. Again, something from 2000s. The one that Pamela Anderson was wearing. I can even find the photo and show you. So something like that. I couldn't find anywhere else and I was hoping to find this type of dress 
in vintage shops and also I was after like a bomber jacket or a leather jacket or a suede jacket but kind of like a cool something different with a vintage vibe but I didn't find any of these things which was a little bit disappointing so you can find a lot of 80s style at the moment in these shops but again for something um, interesting and unique you can still pop in these vintage shops i mean there are so many here in london and i just checked those two but there are so many others so i'm going to keep on looking and see if i can find something interesting but yeah it was fun experience i really enjoyed it and um, i loved all the things that i uh, bought at the end so so it was successful shopping so i hope guys that you um, enjoyed this video and uh, we had some fun in checking these shops and what's new and um, all these interesting places in london i hope you liked it and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video so take care for now and see you soon bye